Well, that's a bad sign. When a guy comes back home, he usually tries too hard, can't make a shot. When he started out, nothing but net. Look out. All right. T-Mac drops it right back down again. Yao Ming turns, fires, and hits. I mean, there's no pressure on him at all. He may get 50 tonight. The Rockets have not been whistled for one yet. 5.36 left to play in the first quarter. Wesley pops open from the outside and hits. David Wesley. They'd really like to get him going now. He's a Sura giving it up to T-Mac. Barnes trying to get a little help from his teammates. T-Mac back to Wesley. Wesley's open. Fires up a three. David Wesley. He has five early points. David Wesley can get in the rhythm and start making his shot. The Rockets are going to be very, very tough to defend because they have so many people that can shoot it. Tracy McGrady working on Barnes. Lays it up and finally scores. You know, Coach, he was the only Rocket not to score. Look at him. He's talking to everybody on the Rocket beach right now. Hey, he's feeling good about himself. Brady raises up and hits. T-Mac. The Rockets off to a good start with three assists before he even scores. Yes, he moves the basketball. He knows David West is hot. They're all converging. They're trying to double-team him. Now, this is his one breakaway left. What a play, but right now, unselfish play. Three assists, only one turnover. The Rockets are playing really, really well right now, Bill. 55%. He's part of the reason because of the unselfish player. Only one turnover in a quarter basketball. Not bad. Wouldn't you like to have a nickel for every time they've done that? I imagine in the preseason, they've had some pretty good arguments over who fouled whom before regular practice starts. Well, Juwan answers. How about Howard? Ten points for Juwan Howard. Of course, when you do that, Miller can hit that too, so you're really in a jam. Sura to McGrady. Up and in. So T-Mac with seven points. He knows how to win. Great team player. When I judge players, we're looking at our draft right now. As McGrady comes off of that screen, I ask my coaches, are they winners or not? They're Over to Sura. Sura in the open court. Sura goes to his right. Tries to get the shot up. Weatherspoon comes away with a loose ball. McGrady rises up for a three. Tracy McGrady has come to the party. 12 points. He had not shot in the line. He was going to shoot that basketball while it was in the air. He just caught it. He was going to shoot it. Back to T-Mac, who's been hot. Mobley trying to stay with him. Tracy inside for two more. There's just no way Mobley is going to be able to stop Tracy McGrady, and McGrady knows it. Died and everywhere. I'm telling you, I miss seeing Elvis Presley live. Come out to the, this place right here. Don't miss seeing this guy play basketball. He is so good. Watch him just step up, make every shot, hand in his face, penetrate, in pressure, goes up over Mobley and scores. But I tell you something, you know, very he's too important to this basketball team. Well, they're still leaving Juwan Howard open. This time he misses, but he follows it. Rockets get a fresh 24. T-Mac with a three to start off the second half. Boy. Out of the first seven points he scored early, the Rockets have kind of shut him down. That's the first noise he's made since early in the basketball game. Brady turns that corner. Sir is open. He puts up a three. So it's raining threes in Toyota Center to start the second half. And the reason that's open because they had to double trace Jimmy Grady. That left Bobby Sir wide open. Steal by T-Mac. He's got to beat Bibby. He passes instead to Wesley. Wesley tried to loft it up, and Bibby stole the ball. And Weber is on him after he made those uh, first couple of baskets, then Weber took Miller's place. Tracy McGrady hits two. T-Mac now, eight of 13. So they need to protect that basketball a little better. Juwan Howard, top of the key, yes. Howard and uh, McGrady are shooting lights out. You're talking about the draft lottery. Any lottery. McGrady turns the corner back to Pageant. Good pick up by Bibby. Pageant leans in and hits. Well, when Scotty doesn't shoot a lot, but when he does, they go in. It's a 14 foul on the Kings, the first team foul in the final two minutes. Pageant's open. And of course, he's going to hit any pass that Tracy McGrady gives him. And most of them from the perimeter. Yes, and they're penetrating and then kicking out to one of their bigs to shoot the ball. Tracy goes to Pageant again, and Pageant says thank you very much. And just like that, eight quick points in the... T-Mac, back outside, he'll post it up on Mobley, Tracy, he's fouled, it counts, 
21 points. Tracy looking for 22 at the line. And for Cat, that's his third foul of the game. See, Houston does a very smart thing here. The second the Cat goes on Tracy, they post him up immediately. He's, he's a two-guard trying to guard a three-player. He's too powerful for him. And, and instead of any time they switch anybody... Scotty sets a pick. Gets it right back. Yes. Every time McGrady passes the ball to Pageant, he hits the... Rocket swinging around. Yeah, wanted that ball inside. T-Mac will go on the offense. Tracy looks up. Five on the shot clock. Up and in. A three-pointer for Tracy McGrady. Oh! Cold-blooded. Well, he was open, and he makes a lot of those. McGrady back to Pageant. He's made four already. Making five. Scott Pageant. With a new season high in points. Grady. Trying to beat Barnes. McGrady driving back to Pageant. Pageant. Oh! Scott Pageant 